This is the Tennessee Intercourse Practice Test uh, for Algebra 1. This is question number 47. The distance in miles a bicyclist is from home after riding x hours is represented by the equation y equals 8x plus 7. What does the slope represent in this situation? Well, I'm going to write out this form. And then it says something about the slope. Well, what does that mean? Well, if I look to try to find one that matches, well, the slope-intercept form is y equals mx plus b, where y is by itself, right here. Y is by itself here, too, so that's a good thing. Now, it says that this is the slope-intercept form, so I'm guessing one of these, the m or the b, is the slope. Well, if you look up just a little bit, this is the slope formula, and it lists m as the slope. So whatever is in front of the x is the slope. So in this case, my slope is 8. Now, it, rep it could represent a few things. Uh, first off, you should always know that the slope represents change. And the intercept uh, represents what happens if nothing else occurs. It's like the starting point. So 47, A says the number of miles it take, hours it takes a bicyclist to ride 15 miles. Well, this says it's, uh, uh, it defines X as the number of hours. So it's not going to uh, be A, so 47A makes no sense because it talks about the number of hours, but it says that x is the number of hours, so that's out. Number, uh, letter B says the distance the bicyclist is from home when x equals 0. Well, if x equals 0, that's times the 8, so it'll cancel everything out, so that's irrelevant. That would be the 0 point, which would be 7, but in this case we're asking about the slope. C says the steepness of the hill the bicyclist is climbing. What? That doesn't have anything to do with anything. This says it's the distance. This says hours. This is nothing about the steepness of the hill. It's completely irrelevant to the question. It's just a distractor. This is the speed. That's pretty likely. Now, this is uh, how many miles. Uh, this is the number of hours, and the distance in miles is y. So this is what's changing it. So the only thing that A could represent is the speed. And speed is a representation of change, so we know the answer to number 47 is D.